welcome to another session of Master Bridge. Eight top international players are taking part in our individual tournament, competing for £8,000 of prize money. The players change partners after each four hands. In this session, we'll be watching first Rixie Marcus, partnered by Irving Rose, playing against Omar Sharif and Robert Sheehan. Then the hands will be replayed by Jane Pride, partnering Zia Mahmood, who will be opposing Martin Hoffman and Jeremy Flint. And of course, Sammy Kahila, the Canadian international, is here as usual to provide us with expert analysis. Sammy, how does the tournament stand at the moment? Well, Nicola, it's early yet. Rixie, Jane, Martin and Omar have a narrow two-point lead over the others. But this session's pairing split Martin and Rixie against Jane and Omar when it comes to comparing scores at the two tables. So that might separate the leaders. Remember, we're awarding two points to each player in a partnership if their score on a hand is better than their counterparts at the other table. And we're defining better as a difference of 20 or more points between the two tables. Let's see how our first hand goes. On this hand, north-south are vulnerable. The dealer is north, Rixi Marcus, playing with Irving Rose against Omar Sharif, the distinguished actor East, who is playing with Robert Sheehan in the West seat. Pass. One club. One spade. Two no trumps. Uh, the bit of two no trumps by Pass. Sheehan uh, indicates a, a balanced hand, but not necessarily forcing. As as no as way most people play. Pass. In mm. fact, in Pass. fact, East might have passed, Pass. but uh, there is a bonus for bidding and making a game, and he decided he didn't want to stay out of it. Yes. Nine of a disciplined nine of spades from Rixie. Sheehan, Sheehan can't feel very comfortable, but uh, he gives nothing away. He looks the same if he's going four down and making two over tricks. You see, experts tend to bounce into three no trumps with, uh, say, 24 points. Well, on the whole, we human beings need a little more. Yes, of spades. Two. Seven of diamonds. Well, the, the, lie, the lie of the diamond spots Check. Does, not, does not make this any easier for Declare. If Declare had, had the eight of diamonds, king, ten, nine, eight, this play would have been expensive for the defense because uh, it would have only held them to one diamond trick. But Four since north happens to have the fortuitous eight of diamonds, uh, they're still going to make the two diamond tricks. In the meantime, the Declare has set about uh, his tenuous club Five suit. Diamonds. So Irving's risen with the club to clear Rixie's diamonds, which is a, a, a good shot. It might be important to rise with the king of clubs. Nine. Queen. North, North has won the diamond and exited correctly in hearts, giving nothing away. Jack of hearts. Two of hearts. A Eight filthy five. hand for East-West. Yes. They do have a lot of cards, but they're not well placed. Five of clubs. The honor cards are concentrated in the short suits. Queen of clubs, ace of clubs. Rixi has won the ace of clubs. The defense now has taken two club tricks, a diamond and, and a, a spade. spade. Yeah. She's got off play carefully again with a heart. Yes, it was a jack of clubs she could have cashed for the setting trick, but she felt there was no hurry. 
king of diamonds. Now that's something that we at home probably wouldn't do. We would make the setting trick to a contract here, wouldn't we, yes. Sammy? Yes. We, we wouldn't take any chances. The expert knows more about the hand, so therefore can wait. She's hoping for two tricks. Uh, yes. Don't forget that a, a difference of 20 points, in fact, affects the result of, of, of the hand. So she's quite right yeah. to wait. Three of hearts, nine of hearts. And this is the sort of uh, stuff that makes her nine a world clubs. champion. Nine of clubs, two of clubs. Two of diamonds, Jack, Jack of clubs. clubs. Eight of diamonds. Seven. Five of spades. Seven of spades. Oh, she's just cashing out her tricks. Ten of hearts. She Ten of spades. Eight of spades, six of spades. Three of? Yes. Yes. Rixie defended well by not taking her club winner when she won the ace of clubs. Now, when she came in with the jack of clubs four tricks later, she had established both her fourth heart and fourth diamond. That put she in three down, 150, giving her and Irving Rose an excellent chance to win the board. Now for the other table. North, South are vulnerable. The dealer is North, Jane Priday, playing with Zia Mahmoud against Ho Martin Hoffman, East, and Jeremy Flint, West. Pass. One no trump. Pass. He's deciding whether to raise to two, two or three. Pass. Two spades. Pass. Two no trump. Pass. Three no trump. Pass. Five. Pass. That sequence looks a bit puzzling. Flint could not bid a natural two no trump over one no trump, since they had agreed that this would request partner to bid three clubs. So he had to bid two clubs over one no trump, the statement convention, requesting his partner to show a four card major suit if he has one. In fact, he wasn't interested in finding a major suit fit but it was the only way on their methods that he could make an invitational raise to two no trump. The problem now is that East's two spade bid has worn South away from the spade suit, making life more difficult for Declare. Back to the hand, South ponders what to lead. My bet is he'll lead a, a sort of mud heart here. Five of hearts. Yes, That's quite right. You, you obviously know his style very well. Middle, up, down to show three. M U D. If you would play high and low, that would show two <coughs> in the opening lead. Well, let's see what the Clara's prospects are on this lead. He has three hard tricks, two so diamonds of five, and a spade of six three on top. <coughs> and a lot of work to do, really. I think he has to set about, he has to make extra tricks in both diamonds and spades. Poor spades. Uh, he's gone for the spades first. King. Martin has to try to make four diamond tricks in any event, because uh, he can't. He can't succeed. Spade. He needs really. Either he needs miracles, yes. and I think he's playing for them. He, yeah, he's playing now for the spades to be 3-3 three, three with the knave on side and, and hoping to, to, to make three diamond tricks, but uh, he's, he's shortly going to be disappointed. Hmm. Yes, well, Zia has decided that the passive defense is best. He's decided that Declare does not yeah, have a, a diamond holding which will enable him to establish the suit. Eight. See, I told for a, a miracle in clubs, just like they did in the other room. Uh, on, a a, on a jack. On doubleton. a jack doubleton in the south hand.
Jane, Jane has also decided to play <coughs> passively and with Turner Hart and let Declare do his own work. Declare has now won the third heart, led the second club. So Zia would probably rise with the club and play a diamond. Yes, Z has led the diamond, try and break up a possible end play, but I don't think it's going to help. I think Martin has worked out the situation quite well. It's difficult to appreciate a hand well played if, if the contract doesn't make, yes. but often it's, uh, it's the case. Small. But wait. South, t the South still have the five of diamonds. Ten. Uh, it doesn't matter because North has the eight four. A very well played hand by by Martin Hoffman, even though he went down in his contract. North South scored fifty points, but it's not enough to equalize the score in the other room. And you can just see again how Martin Hoffman squeezed an eighth trick out of Jane Friday. With five cards left, Martin knows Jane has no spades and no hearts left. By playing a club into Jane's hand, either she is immediately forced to lead into Dummy's king ten of diamonds, or to allow De Clara to make his long club trick. But if she allows him to make his club, she's only postponing the evil hour because he can now duck a diamond to her, and she's then played once again. Very neat. Though ironically, he could have gone two down and still won the board. Now for the next hand, and we return to the first table where Rixie Marcus and Irving Rose are again north-south, and Emma Sharif and Robert Sheehan are sitting east-west. West is first to speak, and uh, he probably opened with a large number of spades, do you think, Nicola? Yes, uh, he might well make a barrage of four spades to make it difficult for the opponents. Stop. Four spades. This gives Rixie a bit of a problem. She would like to make a bid, but she doesn't want to bid the wrong suit. She would like to bid the suit which her partner can support. Four no trumps. Yes, a, a fine expert bid, telling her partner that she has a good hand and asking him to name a suit. Not, not Blackwood, Simon, no, then. No, definitely not Aces. If, Five clubs. Yes, if, if her partner responds in an Five. inconvenient Five suit... Five diamonds. She bids five diamonds. Now, uh, the message that she is trying to imply is that she has two suits, neither of which is clubs. Five hearts. And not spades. So she has diamonds Both. and hearts. And Rose has got the message, and he has Pass. retreated to five hearts. Uh, so North South have reached their optimum, tr have found their optimum trump suit, and, in fact, their optimum level. King of spades. And now Declare has to concentrate on making 11 tricks. He has a club to lose for sure. The heart king, if it's offside, which is, which is likely. And he has to avoid losing the diamond trick. Looking at the cards, you can see that all Rose has to do is win the first spade trick, play a diamond to his ace, rough a low diamond with his seven of hearts, cross to dummy's ace of hearts, rough another diamond, and then play his last trump to dummy's queen. East can take his king of trumps and the ace of clubs, but that's his lot. Easy when you can see all four hands. He must realize that he and Rixie have bid to a good contract, so he's going to do his utmost to make it. I think he's going to play safe here, Sammy. Yeah. Small. Hmm? Small speed. Ten of spades. Six. Please. Four of spades. Ah. Oh. I think he might discard a club. Is this? He decided to decide. He decided to cut Two the communications. Spades. In any case, it, we have reached an interesting position. Sheehan's best play now is a club, but he doesn't know that. He might. He might consider leading a trump. 
I think he'll play a club. He knows his partner has the ace because Irving wouldn't just throw a, a club from the table if Irving had the ace because Quite whose right. side is he on? Yes, yes, he has played a ton he of has. clubs. He's, he's worked that out. Notice there's no point in wasting the king because he knows that the Clara must roughen the dummy in any event. Queen of hearts. Five of clubs. I'm not convinced he's going to make this, Sammy. Ace of diamonds. Well, we shall soon see. Two of diamonds. He's, he's now starting setting about the diamonds, but diamonds. we suspect a little too late. We shall see if he proves us wrong. Ah, oh, he's Seven. decided to go on a cross rough. And now he's realized he could have made it quite eas easily earlier. Well, now he has to rough diamonds with the eight and the seven to shut out West's five. Small eight of diamonds, seven. Yes, well, he's surmounted that hurdle. Six of clubs. But no. Oh no, he's played a club. It's a bit like ping pong stand yes. with his hand. <laughs> I mean, we can see it. Perhaps he's playing for the hearts to be 4 nil with Omar because uh, yeah. four spade openers are unlikely to have an outside picture. Who would have thought that West Five of Hearts might be the biggest card in the hand? Eight of spades. Seven of clubs. Nine of spades. Six of hearts. Jack. I must admit to feeling a little lost yes. at the moment. If he does make this hand, he would have made it in the most exotic fashion. Yes. Certainly defi defying our predictions. But if he can, in fact, make the one spade trick, the ace and king of diamonds for three, five hearts in the dummy for eight, and the ten, eight, seven of hearts in his hand, he will, in fact, come to 11 tricks. But I think now, with Omar's discard of the ace of clubs, I don't think he can rough his, his club safely with a small heart. Nine of clubs. Ten of diamonds. He went one down. Yes, he went one down. Uh, well, he'll be kicking himself for that. That is a hand where uh, Irving would make, I think, perhaps 99 times out of 100. Yes. This is the one. This is the one time out of a hundred where I think he gave himself the, not the best possible chance. Okay. Irving decided to cross rough the hand. It might have worked, but two little cards made all the difference. If only he'd had the five of trumps instead of the three. Let's have a look at the last four tricks. Irving needed to make three of them for his contract. He leads the six of diamonds from dummy. Omar discards the ace of clubs. Irving has to rough with the ten of hearts to stop West over roughing. As you can see, holding the five of trumps, he would have made his contract with a coup en passant. He leads a club, trumps with dummy's ace of hearts, leads the last diamond, and Omar can do nothing. He can't stop him making either the five of hearts or dummy's nine of hearts. At the other table, Flint is the dealer sitting west, partnering Martin Hoffman East against Jane Friday North and Zia Mahmoud South. Stop. Four spades. Same start as in the other room. At this stage, Rixie Marcus holding the North cards, bid for no trump for a takeout. Not the minors, any two suits here. Five diamonds. Ah. Whoops. Well, she has chosen the less fortuitous bid. Martin's doubled. But Martin's doubled, giving you another chance. I don't believe it. Go on, Jane. God has given you another chance. I must say that 
Martin must feel pretty secure about his chances against all five level contracts, or he would not have doubled four, uh, five diamonds. Jane's passed. Jane has passed five six diamonds. Oh. I think that double of Martin's is, is a very bad bid. It's not rubber bridge at the club yeah. here. Yeah. To give your opponents an extra chance when you know they have a fit in hearts, partner's never going to open with a preempt with long hearts. It's very short sighted and I'm surprised he made the bid, quite frankly. Uh, Jane is looking sort of unhappily at the dummy and saying to herself, well, why or oh, why did I not bid for no Trump? I would not have to be playing this hand in this silly Trump suit. If I'd bid for no Trump, Zia might have got to play the hand in five hearts. Three. Ten. Done. Jack. Yes, well... Jeremy wasn't falling for ducking the diamonds here. Good play by Jeremy Flint. Ace. If he had not covered the diamond, uh, East West would have been held to one diamond trick if Declare had lost to the Queen. The Ace King Ten would then have drawn uh, Hoffman's remaining trumps. Call the seven. Okay, that's six of trumps. Four down. Three, four down. Well, a painful, a painful hand for, for Jane Priday. She's going to lose a heart and two diamonds and a club. 500 points. Even so that even though Irving Rose went down in five hearts, his side is going to win the board. Notice that Martin Hoffman's double has not really gained anything. It had everything to lose and little to gain because if he had not doubled five diamonds and beaten it two tricks, he still would have had a winning board. And by doubling five diamonds, he gave North-South a chance to retreat to five hearts. He would probably have doubled in rage and then uh, and they would have made it and uh, yeah. you would have been had a much. terrible board, yes. yes. I, I, I must say, I think it's a dreadful it bid. That's it. It's a bid that really can only lose. So Jane Pryde goes down two tricks, 500 points as we anticipated in her poorish contract. So this is a winning board for Martin Hoffman and Jeremy Flint. And surprisingly for Wixie Marcus and Irving Rose who would have thought, would have expected to lose the board because they in fact went down in five hearts. On this second hand Irving it must have taken a lot of courage to bid hearts for the first time at the five level on a four card suit headed by the ten. No I don't think so it's all a question of trusting your partner and uh, when Rixie bid five diamonds there's only one type of hand she could have that's two suitor with diamonds and hearts. You mean when so she'd started with four no trumps? Yes once she'd bid four no trumps and now she bids five diamonds. I mean, I think it was braver of me not to bid six clubs rather than worry about bidding five hearts on a four card suit. How do you like playing in a tournament like this where you're not using any conventions? Oh, I love it because, as you know, I've played 14 or 15 years rubber bridge where you play with a lot of different partners. And uh, you get a lot of good players walking into the rubber bridge room expecting to do well because they're good bridge players. And I mean, indeed, they are good bridge players. And they sit down and play, and uh, inevitably they'll blame it on their partner when they do badly, because after all, they are good players and they're playing with much weaker players. And you see, there's no such thing really as an unlucky bridge player. You can be unlucky for a very short period. And in general, uh, it's human nature to blame your partner. I mean, the fact it's your own fault because you won't make an effort to get home with your partner. It's a big part of the bridge game. Yes, people tend to forget that bridge is a partnership game, and that's, yes, they do. that's what makes mm. it different. Mm. That's true. Because if true. you're doing well, your partner's doing well, and if you're doing badly... Mm. And it's really um, uh, 
Um, the psychological element, uh, Zia Mahmoud, for example, who's one of the finest rubber bridge players in the world, it's, he's not lucky. It's because he handles his partners so well. Yeah, but we're not going to tell him that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Thank you, Irving. All right. At the end of that session, Rixie and Martin are now joint leaders with nine points, followed by Irving and Jeremy on seven, Omar and Jane with five, and finally, Zia and Robert Sheehan with three. Well, that's it for now. See you again for the next round of Master Bridge. Until then, goodbye. Yeah.